How to close and open the front closure. This short demonstration is designed to show you how to use the new Gore Lockout closure system. To close, simply make sure that the slider is at the bottom of the rail and that the locking lever is in the open position, like this. The lever should sit at a right angle to the rail. Then carefully insert the right hand rail into the slider and the bottom stop, making sure that it's over to the left and fully inserted into the bottom stop. Next, supporting the right hand rail, pull the slider up, closing the jacket. Once the closure is sealed, fold the locking lever up into the closed position. It should lie flat against the rail pointing upwards. Finally, close the bottom tab to prevent any contact between the stopper and your bike. To open the closure, undo the bottom tab and pull the slider down until it meets the bottom stop. On contact, the locking lever will automatically disengage. Move the lever to the open position like this and then pull the right hand rail out of the bottom stop. How to lubricate the rails using the silicon oil marker. Every Gore-Tex garment with a Gore lockout closure comes with a silicon oil marker. As this demonstration will show, lubricating your lockout closure is really easy and by using it every couple of months, you can be confident that the product will continue to work at its best. To lubricate the rails, open the closures of the garment and place it on the flat surface. Take the marker and run it up and down the inside of each rail. In most cases, just a few strokes will do the trick. Once you've done this a few times, test the lubrication of the rails by opening and closing the closure. Apply another few strokes of the pen if necessary. Finally, wipe off any excess liquid with an absorbent cloth. How to escape from a closure. In the unlikely event that the bottom of your lockout closure accidentally separates like this, there's no need to worry as you can simply reset the system. Simply grip the pull tab in your left hand and gently pull the right hand rail back up through the slider to meet the bottom stop. This completely fixes the problem and resets the system. Be careful to do this gently in order to ensure that no damage is done to the rail or the slider head.